good morning it is a few minutes after six and i'm just walking away from my camp spot i had big plans i was thinking you know i should get up at like early and be walking before dark or before daylight get into town even earlier but i'm not good at all that um i woke up at 3 30 a.m i got out of my tent to go pee and when I got back in, I was wide awake, and I was halfway thinking, maybe I should just go now. I'm like, no way, it's the middle of the night. So I fell back asleep. I didn't wake up till well after five. Um, I did make me a coffee drink this morning. I didn't really want to, I'm kind of getting low on fuel. Like, I don't know if there's going to be fuel in this next town. I'm not low, but I want to make sure I have enough to get to uh, Leavenworth. So I didn't make hot coffee. I put two packs of hazelnut flavored coffee and a pack of raspberry hot chocolate. I don't know how it's gonna to be to, together, but I figured I deserved a, walk, a walking cold coffee. So let's just let's, let's go see what we can get into today. Okay, so my coffee and my hot chocolate mix was really good. Way better than I expected. So I'm stopped for water right now. I've got just over seven miles done, and I think it's 838. So uh, about seven miles in the first two and a half hours. And let me show you this water source real quick. It's a pretty, pretty nice one. Just a little update. I just had a little self-service there so i thought well let me call and see if i can get a room because if i couldn't get a room like my grand plan for today was not going to be as good i knew it was going to be expensive um there's a lot of mixed comments there's only two options in this town i think i mentioned the snoqualmie summit inn and the um, washington alpine club which is more of a bunkhouse type situation and like your food's included, but there's comments that there's like only one men's shower, one women's shower. There's long lines at the laundry. Um, it's crowded. Food's not good, but it's included. And then there's some, you got to like do chores. Like everybody's, you have to do dishes or do some kind of chore that's assigned if you, when you check in. And I know a lot of people have been talking about going there and I just, I didn't want to deal with it. Um... So the comments on this motel, which I should have a resupply box there, but there are lots of bad comments and then there are lots of, it was perfectly fine comments. So there were some comments that it's cheaper if you go to book on booking.com. So I first looked and saw what that rate was and I called and the lady was completely pleasant on the phone, very accommodating. She gave me the rate, it was higher than booking. And I said, can you give any kind of discount, like a cash discount? Because some of these little motels, like, you pay in cash, it's cheaper type thing. Um, or a PCT discount. And she just said, yes, I can give you a discount. And she, like, instantly gave me 30-something dollars off the room, making it cheaper than online. It's still kind of pricey. But she said I can check in. She said check in's normally for... But you can check in at 2 o'clock, which I'll be there slightly after that. So, let's see how it goes. But so far, uh, I mean, a lot of times these reviews, some are, some you need to listen to and some you got you to gotta ignore. You never know which is which, though. That's the, the tricky part. So, she was very pleasant. So, we will see how it goes when we get there. But I should be there by 2.30 or 3 at the latest. And I don't think I'm going to try to do laundry because... It will, I'm planning to, I think, zero in Leavenworth. And I'll do laundry there. So hopefully, if all goes as planned, um, hustle in the last four days should pay off and I'll have like a, a free evening 
and morning. I did talk to Hollywood via text earlier. He said that they are not going to make it to town today. He said they were both hurting and moving slow. So these young people, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kind of. Um, but he is 10 years younger than me. Um, anywho. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, so they, he said they'll... I almost went down. Going down this really steep hill with little bitty rocks. It's almost like walking on ball bearings sometimes. Um, what I was saying before I almost bit the dust. He said they will should be in town tonight tomorrow morning. But don't plan to stay and then we'll leave out tomorrow afternoon. So I got to help figure out today what if I'm going to keep going. Leave tomorrow and hope to see them in the next town. Or if I'm going to stop and chill a bit and wait for them. So I don't know. We'll see. I miss their company. But I also kind of like. I'm enjoying just doing what I want to do. What I want to do it. And I'm making more miles this way. I don't know. I mean at the end of the day. Probably wouldn't be more than three to four day difference on finishing if I just go ahead alone and try to finish or just slow roll it with them. So I don't know. In the grand scheme of things probably doesn't matter, but at the same time, I get frustrated sitting around when I'm ready to go. Too much like my mom. Not good at sitting still very long. That's not a dig, mom. It's just the truth. That beautiful lake is called Mirror Lake. I feel like there have been other lakes called Mirror Lake. Um, walking around the shore of it now. Just the trail goes around maybe 25 yards from the edge. We're going to walk around most of it. And then keep climbing. I'm going to tell you one thing. Washington definitely is the steepest part of the PCT. And... There's so much up and down. It's not as steep as like AT climbs. But it's definitely a lot more up, down, up, down, up, down. And the up, downs are steeper than pretty much anything in California or, or Oregon, I believe. It's pretty. Um, and maybe this will change as we keep getting further north. But I really thought... That the North Cascades, maybe we're not in the North Cascades yet, but I thought the Cascades in Washington were going to be more just rock mountains. Like um, what we're seeing is mostly all tree covered mountains, which are pretty, but they're not the same. So I'm hoping as we get a little further north, we're going to go out with a boom with some big, beautiful looking mountains. But maybe not. I'm not sure. It is 11.40 and I've done almost 14 and a half and my feet hurt. I've not really taken a break. I'm going to stop and take me just a quick kind of lunch break um, and then get moving again. I've only got like six and a half left and I'm wanting to get to town by 2.30 or so. So um, I probably won't take very long, but I'm going to get some grub and <sighs> breathe for a minute then get going. Okay, back on the move. I took a break for 23 minutes, and uh, that's just what time it happened to be. I wasn't like setting a restriction on myself. That's just what it was when I started walking again. Um, had my shoes off for the whole time. It's amazing how much food you can eat. It's amazing how much a through hiker can eat when you're heading to town and you got a bunch of food in 20 minutes. I had a bunch, but going again, I've got six and a half or so, I think to like the road. And I think it's about a half mile, maybe it's a mile. I don't know. You got to walk off the road to get to the, the hotel and the businesses. But at least this is not a, one of the stops where we got to hitch or find a ride. It's just a short walk. The last few miles have been 
so much rock. This isn't too bad here, but it still really slows me down. I was making killer time until the rock, and then I got rocked. We're still doing okay, it's just uh, a lot slower going now. That's Interstate 90 down there. I don't know if you can hear it in my microphone or not. You hear the roar of the traffic. Okay, we're within a half mile. And then there's ski lifts right there. Oh, you know what? There's a bus parked up here, and it is, uh, what's his name? Sugar's bus. Sugar's wife is following him while he's through hiking in this bus. One other thought. I am right at 400 miles on these shoes. And that's the longest any of these shoes have. I've had a couple pair for 400, I think. And I'm really feeling that I need new ones. However, I have 72 more miles to go to uh, the next next little stretch here. I have my shoes at, at uh, I'm drawing blanks. Where's it at? Leavenworth. I got shoes at Leavenworth. So these have got to work for 72 more miles, but they're feeling like there's not much cushion left. The trail goes down there under the overpass and I see a hiker coming this way. Probably just a section hiker because, I mean just a section hiker, just not a southbound through hiker because most of them have already come through here. Summit Inn is where I'm staying. Over across the street, I see the brewery. I stopped in the Chevron and got um, a Gatorade and a Ruby Red Squirt. Oh, this is the restaurant. I must have to go on the other side. Okay, got all checked into the motel. The guy was a little gruff, but not too bad. He did charge, like the comments say, they charge $15 to pick up the box, even though I'm staying here as a guest. But whatever, I got my resupply. Um, I got uh, I grabbed a fuel can that had a partial thing of fuel in it out of the hiker box over there. And I've already done the flip fuel and filled up my can. I've got some stuff put in the hiker box over there. But right now I'm just kind of sitting in the corner, relaxing for a minute before I take a shower. And I'm going to also, um, I got my devices charging here and I'm gonna start uploading a video before I get in the shower. That's how hikers do shower laundry and dry the socks. All right, I just did this really long clip and then realized that I had it on photo mode and was not recording a thing. So it's been a productive couple hours. I got my um, shower laundry done, got all that drying, got stuff charging, got all my videos other than today, thumbnails made, uploaded, have stuff charging. Walking across the street to the brewery, I'm gonna have some dinner and a beer. I don't plan to stay long though. I'm gonna come back. There's a grocery store across the street, just a small little market. Probably get some snacks and just come back and rest in the room for a while. So uh, yeah, I'm ready to eat some real food. You're not gonna believe this. So I walked in there and there's one guy at a table with his head down, like playing on his phone. It was Diesel. Haven't seen them in a while. I, I walked to the edge of the table. I was like, hey man. He looked up and he's like, ah! He gave me a big hug. Um, so we had a drink, talked for a while. He had to go back there, staying at the Washington Alpine Club, and they served dinner at a certain time. 
So he had to go back there and meet Lentil. She was taking a nap. He told me he got him a job all lined up for after this. And we talked about a bunch of stuff. So he's like, you got to come back to the brewery later. They actually didn't have food. I had a hot pretzel. And then I went next door and I had a French dip that was really good. So, um, kind of full. I'm going to go ahead and get him snacks here and go back to the room. Kind of done. And I just want to chill. But if he texts me later and says, hey, we're all going back to the brewery, I'll go back over there probably and see them. But anyway, that was such a cool thing to run into to them after this long. I'm headed back to the motel. I don't know what's going on, but I hope that the place isn't on fire. They let us in. I just laid in bed and you can hear it. We're going back outside. Okay, I'm back in the room. Um, I think the hypothesis is somebody's trying to smoke in the room because the hallway smells like cigarettes and there are, there's no smoking here. So I don't know, the fireman and the hotel owner had been walking around. They let us back in again. I'm gonna lay down again, but I'm not gonna get too comfortable. So unless anything else ex more exciting happens, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all good night so I can get this video edited and have all my, my YouTube work done. So have a good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Hollywood and Cece will be here in the morning. I just talked to him a little bit ago. Um, they're trying to be in, in early enough for breakfast in the morning. So should be back with, the band should be back together tomorrow. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wait here for them and wait till they're ready to go and try to stick with them to this next stretch. So have a good night. <laughs>